What's up Bay family, welcome back to a new video. It's been a while, it's been a while since I made a, a actual video, either review video, unboxing video, or just a basic Beyblade video. Uh, lately I wasn't able to make um, battle videos anymore due to the fact that I uh, used to have a stronger uh, light to be able to light up my stadium so I could actually show, well, actually showcase better the actual um, happening of the battle. But this uh, lamp doesn't work anymore, so until I get a new one, he'll, well, it, it won't be any more uh, battle video on this YouTube channel. But, don't worry, as soon as I get a new light, I will make new uh, battle videos again, that's not a problem. But, today is a brand new edition of my Beyblade Showcase. The reason why I say that is because I decided to divide my Beyblade collection into two parts. The uh, classic part that I actually just have inside of a single box and a brand that I call my Hell's Gate due to the fact that all the bays inside of this uh, set are just made for darkness. So yeah, uh, we're gonna start of course with the original uh, setup that I wanted to show you guys and later on today I will also uh, take pictures of my spare piece and a uh, piece that I don't mind selling or trading depending on how things goes. Uh, and I'm gonna post all of them on uh, Facebook and etc. All the links are gonna be in the description box below. Now, without further ado, let's start. So, of course, we're gonna start with one brand new addition to my collection. The uh, Vanish Fafnir. Now, this Vanish Fafnir, as you guys know, it's an amazing bay. But I did a little few modifications. Thanks to some actual uh, guidance from friends of mine, I decided to put him in high mode, but instead of having him with his original uh, Forge disc, I have him with the Ratchet Forge disc that comes with Wizard Fafnir. Of course, the driver is still the Kick driver, which is a pretty good driver, I must admit, but not a lot of people unfortunately agree with that, but what can I say? Things happen and uh, stuff happens as well. So, uh, yeah, so this Fafnir will take the place of my red and white Fafnir, which I had from the Holy King Belial series, which I actually decided to trade to get something else to add into my Hell's Gate. So, that's why I want to go over there. Now, the next piece into my collection is this Judgment Joker. Now, this Judgment Joker uh, energy layer comes from Asbro Pro series. The Forge Disc come from Asbro Pro series as well. The Around uh, frame comes from Asbro as well, but the driver, the trick driver, which is not the best driver of what I heard, actually is the original driver from Terracatomi. So I'm pretty happy with that. I'm pretty stoked with this one being into my uh, roster of Beyblade I could use in tournaments. So yeah. Although I might not use him in tournaments, but I really like to just have him. And one day maybe I will get rid of him, but right now, let's just say that he's inside my personal collection. Which is why, well, he's just there. <laughs> the next bay is my Ace Dragon. Of course, this Ace Dragon, as you guys remember, comes from Terakotomi as uh, from Asbro as well. Not from Terakotomi, I'm sorry, but it did come. It did come from Asbro, and all the pieces are from Asbro Pro series. Although, even though it's an Asbro Beyblade Pro series, he is pretty damn good. I did try to make many battles with him and his uh, opposite version in Terakatomi, my Gatling Dragon, which I will present later on. And most of the time, he was the last one spinning. He never burst against his own self. So that's a good thing. So yeah, we have the uh, Spring Lock uh, Forges. And now, I'm not sure if I remember the name actual of the uh, this Forges. If you guys remember, just say it in the comments. It'll just be fine. And of course he has the Octa Driver, giving him a little bit more stamina, but also giving him a little bit more weight. The next bay inside of this collection is my Greatest Raphael. Starter set, no modification done. Many modifications have been done during the past time, but I kept him in his original form with his over disc and high extend dash driver, because I did try a tournament uh, this weekend, uh, last weekend actually, uh, yeah, last weekend I just came back from that tournament. I came back yesterday, sorry. Tried to make sure that all my words work correctly. 
So anyways, I was in a, a special event with Beyblade as a representative of Bay Park, Quebec, which is an amazing uh, place. You should guys, you guys should check that if you live in the Montreal area or in Quebec in general to know everywhere about Beyblade, where you can find the Terra Academy official Beyblades and events where you could participate with your friends and have fun at the same time. So I will also put a link of their page in the description box below. So yeah. This amazing Greatest Raphael is a beast. A lot of people have difficulty defeating him and a lot of people have di difficulty facing him because he is just a beast. So yeah, like I said, over driver, uh, over uh, disc with the uh, driver extend high dash, high extend dash. So the next Beyblade is uh, like an old D. It's an old Beyblade that came back with a random booster, my Drigger V2. I'm pretty happy with this one, honestly. The Fortress disc is probably not the best disc to go with this uh, with this dry, with this uh, Beyblade, but it is a pretty good Beyblade as well. I don't actually remember again the uh, name of the uh, driver itself, but I know that it is a dash driver, so it's a pretty good driver, and it has a middle tip, which is not always good depending on the arena that you play with, but it is a pretty great driver. The next bay in the collection, like I said, I present Ace Dragon, and of course we have his counterpart with Terakatomi, we have Gatling Dragon. The amazing, bulky Gatling Dragon, heavy mother heifer, that is just that good in battle. Honestly, for an attack type, he has a lot of stamina, even though his charge metal driver is pretty damn heavy and nasty as heck to play. But it is uh, the original starter set from Armor to Driver, from Energy Layer and to DB Core Chip. This um, with this wonderful bay, I was about to say another curse word, but I will restrain myself because I want to get my video demonetized, or I don't know how exactly that worked, but eh, anyways. <laughs> I'm not a professional YouTuber, I just, that, I just do that for the fun of it, okay? Let's, let's put out uh, this out of the water. Is he locked? No, he's not locked. Yes, yes. Okay, there we go. He was locked for two seconds. Anyways, so yeah, the amazing Gatling Dragon is also part of my wonderful, wonderful collection. Now, I know that technically he's not the entirety of the original one that came out a few years ago or a few months ago. I don't remember exactly, but anyways. I have here from the VS set my ultimate Valkyrie. Honestly, I prefer this one in comparison to the original one. One of the reasons why I, do, I say that is because of the DB Core. The DB Core, it's okay with the blue. I understand that Vault Ahoy is the original color for this bay from all of the series, has always been blue. We did have Valkyrie in different coloring as well, but the original Valkyrie, the OG Valkyrie, the one that everybody wants to have, is of course the blue one. But even though it's not the original core, it is still a pretty good core myself. I really love the fact that it's more like transparent. And honestly, even though it's not the original driver, uh, the original driver or the original Forge disc, this is the original setup that he came with the VS set. Talking about the VS set, we're gonna go to the next bay in a few seconds. I just want to say ne the blah, blah blah. I just want to be able to tell you guys to be able to tell you guys that, that doesn't make any sense. But anyway, I just want to say. Okay, that honestly, I prefer this design compared to the original one. Not because I don't like Valkyrie, I just think that the original one is way too much blue. But that's just my liking. This one, just the perfect amount. It is Vault Ahoy, it is Valkyrie, it is the amazing bay that we know to be the amazing attacker that is Valkyrie. So. And of course, you cannot have Valkyrie without his counterpart. Burst Spriggan. Of course, I don't know if they're gonna make another Burst Spriggan in a future random booster because we never know, after all, with Beyblade. We're gonna have Beyblade X that's gonna start in a few uh, months. But, a few months, yeah. It started in the month of July, if I remember correctly. So, anyways, I'm not sure if we're gonna have a random booster with some Beyblade from previous collection into it with different coloring from, uh, for the base. But one thing is sure, this Burst Spriggan is amazing. I really love him. He's really good, it has a great stamina level. He comes with the Fusion Dash Driver. The name of the Forge Disc, I don't remember exactly, but it is a pretty good driver as well. A pretty good Forge Disc as well. And of course, you have it here in right side, but you can change this mode from left to right with this wonderful little tool that comes with it. 
so that's it for Spriggan. And of course, speaking of being able to change from left to right, we had a new bay inside of this collection, if you guys remember, that was also able to go from left to right. And that motherfucker is the <laughs> Zest Arcades. Of course, Zest Arcades possess the ability to go both left and right mode. Not the best idea for Arcades, honestly, since it's always been a right mode, but still. A right rotation bay. But still, he is pretty cool and he comes with his brand new quad hole dash driver which is an improvement to the original Quattro driver that was made for Astral Spriggan. So yeah, this one is a pretty good driver with the four modes, stamina, defense, attack, and balance, which is pretty cool. I have it right now in stamina mode with the middle tip because I think it's one of the best modes for this bay. Maybe you guys have your own advice on that, but like I said, with Beyblade, one thing that is fun is you can create your own customization. You're not forced to go with the one that people ask you to do. You can take suggestions, but you're not forced to do them. <laughs> so, moving on, we're gonna go with a new acquisition because I did do some trades recently, and this is a brand new acqui acquisition that I am actually pretty stoked about. Although I'm not sure if I should present it now, due to the fact that I have my Hell's Gate afterwards, and one of the pieces that comes with this bay come from one of my Hell's Gate bays, so I think I'm gonna keep it on the side for now. I'm gonna go with another bay that I just traded because I'm pretty happy to have it from the uh, Turbo series. Boom. The original Terracotomi Revive Phoenix. Honestly, I'm really happy to have him because I did have the Asbro uh, Pro series Perfect Phoenix, but now I have the original, original uh, Phoenix, Revive Phoenix, the Phi Bay from the uh, Terracotomi. I'm pretty happy with that. I'm really happy from the fact that even though it is Terracotomi, the weight of the armor is really something that Asbro was able to recreate with the Dread armor that they put on Perfect Phoenix because the weight is pretty much similar. I didn't use a balance to check it because I don't have that luxury, sorry. But it is a pretty uh, same weight, I must admit. So it's, it's pretty good, it's pretty good. Now, talking about just uh, talking about Perfect Phoenix, why not presenting him next? Of course, my Asbro Pro Series Perfect Phoenix, all original pieces, Dread Armor, Phoenix Energy Layer, the Forge Disc that come with it, and the driver that comes with it. Of course, the frame has been added with uh, the Perfect Phoenix because technically Phoenix doesn't have any frame disc. According to the manga, he was supposed to have a frame disc on his uh, original form Revive and on Dread. He was supposed to have, I think, Dagger for Revive and with Dread he was supposed to have the turn uh, frame like we saw on, Fi on um, Hades, Fi's Brothers Bay. I don't remember. Hyde. Hyde. That's what I was trying to uh, figure out was the name of the character. That, like we saw on Hyde's Bay, since technically there are fusion of both bays. Due to the fact that Fi destroy Hades with the uh, ability of his Revive Phoenix. Now, moving on to the next bay, we're going to GT mode with Zwei Luenor. Of course, this one is, of course, uh, like many of my other bays, is a Pro Series one. I didn't get the Terracatomi one because, honestly, I don't know why, I just don't want it. But I have this one from um, Terracotomy, from, not Terracotomy, sorry, from Asbro, and it was my first Beyblade that I purchased with Asbro Pro Series as one of my um, first, Beyblade, uh, first Beyblade to go into Pro Series collection. Then, of course, afterwards I collect the other ones. I didn't get the, next, the last uh, collection series, unfortunately. If someone knows where I could find them, please let me know. I want to have them. I want to have the Vex Lucius, I want to have um, Sword Val uh, no, Brave Valkyrie, Valtriac, and I want to have, of course, the Luenor that comes with, a, uh, with this one as well. I want to have all the collection, I'm not gonna lie. The Pro Series Bays are really cool, and honestly, the fact that they are making Super Kings now, it's pretty damn cool, especially if you think that most of the uh, carrier of Beyblade Tarkatomi don't have any more the Super King Bays. And sometimes don't have all of them, so it's pretty damn good to be able to get yourself the Super King Bay with Asbro that are made exactly the same as the Super King one from Tarkatomi. So, yeah, so yeah, we have my uh, Zwei Luenor. I'm sorry, I might just go away from a second. 
I know that people complain about this one with Pro Series due to the fact that the head of the dragons on the blades actually pop out. It is something that can happen because you have to remember this is not a Terakatomi. The plastic is not as strong as it is with Terakatomi, but luckily for me, I did have the chance of not having that problem with any of my base. So far, they all were able to uh, keep their um, their piece together and honestly, that is pretty damn cool. I have of course the Drake Forge disc and a Destroy Dash driver, which is not an original de uh, Destroy driver, but it is the Terakatomi, uh, the Asbro uh, copy of the Dash Destroy driver. Staying is in um, GT, my Harmony Pegasus that comes also from Pro Series, which is the uh, starter set that I kept like he is with the plastic tip instead of being metal and the coloring of the frame being different from the original frame, but it is still a pretty good bay. And honestly, many bay bladers, as, as I met before, told me that even though it's not the original Terakatomi one, he is pretty good. In, the, in his weight class, if you do a tournament with the weight class uh, for this one, he is pretty good. He's, he's able to stand his ground, honestly, which I think is pretty damn good. Now, we're going with the <laughs> Beyblade that I wanted to keep for last with this case, due to the fact that I'm going to jump into my Hell's Gate afterwards with a Beyblade that I want to present to you guys. A Beyblade that I got from trading from Turbo Series Phonius. Emperor Phonius, original turbo layer, original forge disc, crossed frame put on in due to the fact that I think he looks better like this, and the yard dash driver that comes with a wonderful bay inside of a random booster from DB series, which I will present in a few seconds. I just have to close this one up and bring the other one uh, forward. I'm really happy about that. So technically I made two acquisitions this weekend, uh, I made the uh, Fafnir, Vanish Fafnir acquisition and I made this wonderful acquisition by trade, of course. Chain Kerbius, yeah I did get myself the Chain Kerbius, one of the reasons why I did get him even though I have the Black Chain Phoenix which I will also present. Uh, the reason why I get I got him is because he is technically the Guardian of, Ga the Guardian of Hellgate. He is the guardian of the Tartarus gates in the Greek mythology and honestly I think it was made to be inside of this team. So of course we have the uh, Fortress Forge disc and this is my Metal Never driver uh, which I think according to many people will, will be good with this particular bay making him a little bit more uh, stamina like but still a pretty good uh, damn uh, piece and of course the uh, Yard uh, dash driver comes from this beautiful, beautiful three headed dog. The next bay inside of the Hell's Gate that I want to present it is the Pro Series because I don't have all the pieces to make him a kind of a Terracademy official one. Is my Venom Devilos. The reason why I is my a uh, sorry, I will find my words. The reason why he's, he's inside of my Hell's Gate uh, collection aka my tournament collection piece, is because of the fact that his name in Japanese is translated to uh, Diabolos. So Diabolos being a devil, and even in the, G uh, the uh, GT series we call him the devil, uh, the demon bay, make pretty much sense that he's inside of the uh, Hell's Gate collection. We have of course the Vanguard driver, uh, the Vanguard Forge disc, which is the original Forge disc that Devilus comes with, but his driver is a Destruction Dash driver, which I took from one of my uh, Terracatomi collection that I had before. So if I had the Bullet driver, he would be like a starter set of Devilus, but I don't have it, unfortunately. Although I'm not complaining, it is still a pretty good bay even with this driver. It makes him a little bit more attacky, and honestly, even though I don't have a race, I don't mind. Honestly, just Venom Devilus like this is just perfect to my liking. The next bay inside of my Hell's Gate collection is gonna be my Prime Apocalypse Pro Series Fusion with Terracatomi. I will explain why in a few seconds. This bay came within the collection of Pro Series bays that we got with Union Archeles and Harmony Pegasus. And this one right here is the one I got from uh, 
Asbro as well, but the Big Bang armor come from Dark Academy, of course, which I got with uh, Big Bang Genesis, which is uh, the Bay of um, Gwyn, or Quinn. I'm not exactly sure how to pronounce the name, but anyway. That has the, uh, the uh, Genesis, before that being Royal Genesis and then Big Bang Genesis. The Forge Disc is the around Forge Disc, would give him a little bit more stability because honestly, even though he's considered to be an attack type, put him in more like this balance slash um, stamina and defense would be more accurate to this bay more than attack, honestly. And of course, we have the Atomic Driver, which is not the Atomic Dash, but the Atomic Driver, even though works really well with him. Uh, so far so good actually it is a defense type driver but it is a pretty good driver to have on a bay that don't doesn't burst didn't burst so far so yeah he did burst the first time that I used him because the pieces were not fully contact but now he's a bit more stable my next bay I don't I'm not sure if I did a review of this one but I'm gonna review it today it is the hell salamander or like they say in English, heat salamander. But this one is an official Terracatomi uh, Beyblade, but it is a Terracatomi slash Hasbro uh, Fusion. Due to the fact that the driver being a driver from Hasbro and the frame on the Forge disc being a frame from Hasbro as well. But we're gonna go through that uh, uh, with all the uh, details in a few seconds. Now, this Beyblade, honestly, I wanted to have him for a long time. I wanted to have to get it for a long time. And I was able to get it thanks to a friend of mine that ordered it for me. So again, thank you a lot. And Andrian, you're an amazing uh, person. I did say her name in English, I should say it in French. Andrian, you're an amazing person and I really, really enjoy having him inside of my Hellscape collection. Now, the frame disc that I put on him is the Dagger for, uh, frame disc, which originally came with uh, Prime Apocalypse. But honestly, I think this version works way better with him than having him like representing a pure attack uh, Beyblade. So yeah, I put the dagger on uh, on Hell Salamander, which is kind of cool because if you look like this, you're gonna see here the little tip of the dagger pointing out, so it adds a little bit more to an attack, like, oh, you were able to pass over my uh, my spikes? Well, I have another one for you. <laughs> so it's pretty, it's pretty cool. I think honestly I would see also the dagger uh, frame disc on a blade uh, on a Beyblade like Excalibur which would make a lot of sense and the driver come from Asbro as well I'm sorry about that I had to uh, to admit this this is the trans dash driver which has a better lock capacity uh, for the different mode either attack or stamina so yeah this is my wonderful wonderful bay that I call my love of the love my sweet of the sweet Anyways, he is a just an amazing bay, my wonderful L Salamander. Now, the next bay in the Hellgate collection is my Black Chain Phoenix. Of course, I wish to get a new, brand new uh, prominence, Val prominence Dark Valkyrie, just to be able to get the extra piece that I need to make sure that this Phoenix becomes like Prominence Phoenix, but Dark Prominence Phoenix. But so far, so far, so good with just the chain, the black chain he is a pretty good bay. Of course, all the pieces on it are just Terracatomi piece, of course, because the. So we have the um, the over uh, forged disc, and as you could hear from the teeth of the driver when he came out, he is. It is the uh, wave dash driver, which is a pretty damn good driver to go with this setup. Honestly, I didn't have it. I didn't come I don't have anything to complain about it. It is a pretty good driver and honestly the all mix really well together and I really love it. Now of course I did say that before time with many times that I reviewed this bay and I actually show it in the showcase. This Beyblade is not called Excalibur anymore because he has the actual name Tarfing. The black Sword Excalibur, or like in Fate State Night, the uh, Morgana uh, Excalibur. Honestly, I prefer the name Tarfing due to the fact that the actual avatar of this bay is a man. It's weird to say, but it is a man. Okay, it doesn't have boobs. I checked. <laughs> so because it would make sense to be uh, Morgana if it was depicted like a lady, but it is not. 
it is a full arm man inside of freaking giant armor okay so those comments were a bit more not useful but anyways this is of course the off color of Excalibur but all the pieces are the original combo of it that you can find on Xiphoid Excalibur being the uh, Xiphoid blades the uh, DB core Excalibur that has a sword once it's clicked like this that pops out you didn't, cannot really see it but anyways and of course whoops it comes with its original forged disc that I don't exactly remember the name of, I'm sorry. And it comes with the sword dash colored in a little bit of gold. All of that make him a devil sword, which is why he is inside of the Hell's Gate collection. Now, the next bay is the bay that I call the Phantom King. The reason why I call him the Phantom King is because actually he was born inside a Phantom Gate in the original DB series, and he was put through hell and back to be able to come back to us with more power and more gears than before of course my phantom king belial with the brand new generation gears on him h gear a gear d gear and the vs gear all original terracatomy piece of course because asbro honestly cannot compare to this wonderful magnificence and i don't think the asbro Bell bellfire can be uh, actually customized the Nexus disc say it can, but I'm not sure if all the pieces like the F gear, the L gear, the uh, V gear will fit on that bay because it's really not made like Terracatomi did. But maybe just the S gear can fit on it, I'm not even sure. Anyways, this is Belial, of course, the reason why he's inside of the Hell's Gate is according, like I said before, about the Old Testament. The demon Belial was an equal to Lucifer, actually his right-hand demon. So he was considered to be a knight of hell, which actually makes him even pretty much cooler than before. <laughs> so yeah, I have this wonderful, wonderful Beyblade inside of this hell collection due to the fact of because it is the right-hand man of Lucifer. Speaking of which, of course, as I presented before, I have inside of the Hell's Gate collection the king himself, Barricade Zero Lucifer. Now, of course, you guys are gonna say, ah, what happened with this barricade? Don't worry. I have one with all the barricades, so that's just fine. But I'm gonna present him in a few seconds. I just want to go through with this one. All original pieces from the original startup, the armor, the forged disc, illegal, which is the actual uh, driver that comes with it. The only difference is instead of having bearing a Mobius driver, he has the Atomic Dash driver, which actually make him pretty much of a beast, okay? Uh, so far, the battles I have with him, rarely lost. Like, rarely. If he lost, it because the bay was a, a bit stronger than him and just push it out of the stadium. But most of the time, he's able to resist and he's a beast. Now, this goes through all the Hell's Gate collection that is inside of this wonderful little box that has reds everywhere. And now, like I said, I'm gonna present you my Avatar driver, my Avatar Beyblade, which is the Beyblade that will never change, will never uh, exchange, never trade, never sell. <coughs> Just because he is the first Terakatomi Bay that I purchased with his first form of course being variant lucifer my wonderful barricade lucifer with all of his sticker and of course the barricade that are still present the illegal forge disc and the drift bearing driver which is an ama amazing driver honestly i did make a comment this weekend to the event that i spoke to you priorly about the fact that can you imagine if they were made uh, dash Drift or Dash Mobius driver. How crazy those drivers would be, how strong they would be. They will literally break the entire game, okay? People will look for these pieces like crazy. Many people that I spoke about them, about these driver, literally say to me that this would be the end of Beyblade if they ever make those pieces. Honestly, I can understand why people say that because just being bearings or metal uh, a metal uh, strength they are a beast of their own so honestly it would be just insanely crazy to have those pieces in uh, dash mode 
Like, could you imagine a drift bearing dash driver? Whoo! That would be a piece that had to be banned like immediately due to the fact that it was it would could be way too good for the good of the game. So yeah, that's my showcase of collection piece. I hope you guys enjoy it. If you want to uh, tell me which one is your favorite bay, leave it in the comment below. Of course, I will make sure to uh, share this video on all my platform, TikTok, Facebook, Instagram, and of course my YouTube channel, due to the fact that that's where you can find all my videos. <laughs> so yeah, as usual, see you guys next time. Be careful and spin out. Peace.